is the X Factor presented by Xfinity. Everyone's favorite segment because of this guy, Pro Bowler, right here, TJ Lang. Oh, you like Pro Bowler? No, I just I'm, don't I know if I'm everybody's favorite. That's all. Oh, yeah, but Pro Bowler is a nice, nice add. -in. I love that. Yeah. All right, I love that. I'm two Danny time. Rogers. You say two time though. Two time Pro Bowler. Two different teams. <laughs> Green Bay, which is perfect that you're here. Mm. Lions facing the Packers on Monday Night Football. It's coming up real soon. We're breaking down who the X factors need to be. One for the Lions to get a dub in Green Bay, and then for the Packers for them to bounce back after a pretty eh, not great Week One yeah. loss. Okay, let's start with these Lions. TJ, who's your X factor that needs to step up there in Green Bay? Yeah, well, as badly as I wanted to go with our guy Jamal Williams, just everything on the table for him going back to Green Bay and obviously playing a nice game last week. I've got to stick with the defensive side of the ball, and it's got to be with the captain, uh, Trey Flowers. And last week, they didn't get a whole lot of chances uh, to rush the quarterback, to rush Jimmy, Jimmy Garoppolo, just by the way San Francisco is controlling the game, uh, running the ball. Uh, Aaron Jones, obviously one of the premier backs uh, in the league. Uh, A.J. Dillon behind him is a tank. Um, if I'm Detroit, um, you obviously have to look at the film last week from Green Bay and kind of get the one-on-one -on -one matchups and who you're going to be playing against. But... I would, I, would, I would probably prepare for a totally different game plan. I think they're going to run the ball a lot this week. And when you talk about Trey Flowers being the X factor, um, he, he's got to be the guy that just kind of leads the front uh, uh, as, as far as getting after the run and, mm -hmm. and tackling the ball carries. We didn't see a whole lot of guys getting off blocks last week and really finishing plays against San Francisco. Uh, but this was a really nice play from him last week. All pro, all world, left tackle, uh, Trent Williams. I know this is in the fourth quarter. Um, game was what everybody thought to be out of hand, but this really came up to be a good play here by Trey. He gets uh, right into the chest, disengages at the perfect head up, disengage, make a play, right? Zero yard gain, third down. Lions were able to get off the field this drive, which really kind of propelled them to, to making that comeback. And they're going to need mm -hmm. a lot of that uh, this week, especially going against a Green Bay offensive line that doesn't look the same in years past. David Bakhtiari is going to be out uh, for a while. Uh, they've got two rookies starting at center, right guard, if you're Trey Flowers, you got to get after these guys. And I'd also be interesting to see how they use him maybe in third down situations when uh, they're going to rush the passer, um, moving him maybe over to the center, over the center, maybe over the right guard, mm -hmm. trying to expose one of those one-on-one -on -one matchups because he is a guy that a lot of his success comes off um, rushing from the inside position over, over the guards or, or, or over the center. So that'll be something to watch as well. Uh, another thing too, when you talk about the pass rush that he has to generate, they've got to find a way to get home with four guys. You look at mm -hmm. the Saints game last week against Green Bay, I think they only brought more than four rushers two times the entire game. They were still able to get to Aaron Rodgers. Trey Flowers is definitely going to be uh, a big player to watch in that aspect. And obviously this play last week, I think it's best to watch from the, from the end zone view what could have been you know, the biggest play of the game when you talk about San Francisco's got a chance to go ice the clock, third and 13. They find a guy, first Boom. down, game should be over, right yep. right there. But you look at the effort play from Trey Flowers. I mean, he's dropping in coverage. He's not even close uh, to where this ball is caught, and he hustles all the way over. He knows the game's on the line. He's got to make a play. He sure does, man. He punches that ball out, and he gives the offense a chance to go win the game. So Trey Flowers, when you combine his hustle, his effort, uh, the passion that you kind of see on this play, mm -hmm. just never giving up and, and just fighting till the end, that's obviously a leader on the defense. He's a captain for a reason. They just need these plays to come earlier in the game and not wait so long against Green Bay because just like San Francisco, uh, the Green Bay offense can put up points and they can do it in a hurry. Mm -hmm. The seven-year NFL vet had four tackles in that game. Obviously, the forced fumble, head coach Dan Campbell said that play he just did, that takeaway, was so purposeful. And then mm -hmm. today we hear physicality has got to be there against Green Bay. Yeah. How difficult is that, walking into that environment and then going up against, you know, the Packers? Yeah, I mean, well, Green Bay, like we said, I mean, there's been a lot said about them this week about, uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers is, as all the offseason distraction kind of cost them. I, I don't think if you're, uh, you know, Coach Campbell and you're, you're any players, I don't think you buy into that, right? Mm -hmm. Because everybody knows that uh, all it takes for Green Bay is one game to kind of get back on track. And um, Aaron Rodgers always seems to play well at home on Monday Night Football. He just does. And I know you've got a pretty stat for us coming off a loss as well. He is 6-0 after right. a loss with yep. LaFleur as head coach. Yep. We'll and say it. And the Packers haven't lost back-to-back -back games in the regular season since 2019. So right. Which is another challenge Everything is stacked itself. up against the Lions. Yeah, right? but you know what? There's been a lot said about how bad the Packers were and how bad of a loss it was and how much 
that they're going to want to, you know, right the ship and get the season going back on the right track. This, this Detroit Lions team feels the exact same. It's week two, and, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely a, a, a tough opponent, mm -hmm. uh, especially when you talk about Monday football. Monday night football, I think Aaron Rodgers is undefeated at home on Monday night football. It's a good time, good time to change that if you're the Detroit Lions. And that leads us to the X factor for the Green Bay Packers. I can't imagine who you've chosen this week. <laughs> well, got, it's been a lot of talk about this guy for the last, I don't know, six months or so, but mm -hmm. it's, it's still going to be Aaron Rodgers. It is, and I know they've got a lot of, uh, you know, premier players on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, they have Aaron Jones, who's one of the best. They have Devontae Adams, who's the best receiver in the league in my, uh, my mind. Uh, you look at the film last week, and the game started to snowball uh, in the second half away from them a little bit. But you hear a lot of talk this week, you know, is Aaron Rodgers really into it? Is he into it? And then I go back and I watch this throw, and it's a two-minute drive right before half. And Devontae Adams is going to be lined up down here. Little jab step right there. They got two guys bracketing him off the line of scrimmage. You know, this safety is going to come in and help, too. Aaron Rodgers, when it's a big play and it's a, it's a third down or it's a two-minute drive, he's going to look for his favorite target, which is Devontae Adams. But look at the placement of the ball. He's got Ooh. two guys, one guy trailing, one guy coming over the top, and it is just a perfectly placed ball. And that lets me know that, yeah, Aaron Rodgers is it. still Aaron Rodgers. Right? He's still got it. Devontae Adams isn't even looking for the ball yet, and it's just thrown in an absolutely perfect spot. I mean, obviously you're saying, sure, if 23, if Lattimore turns his head a little bit, uh, quicker or gets his arm out yep. right there, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit quicker. Yeah, it's probably an incompletion. But you know what? We've seen Aaron Rodgers make so many of those plays over his career that uh, it's not a fluke. Right. I mean, he knows exactly where he's going with the ball every every time. So um, he's still Aaron Rodgers. And you take a look. I know this was a long time ago. This is probably uh, week two or three of last year. Uh, this is a big third down against Detroit. Obviously, a lot of new players on the field. It's going to be number 83, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, who is a very speedy player. You see him lined up here last, last year in the slot. Just going to run a quick wheel route, and it's going to be a big play. And I know he steps you know, kind of out of bounds here at the end, but we'll let it play. But the ball placement, right? The ball placement is just perfect. Another one. And you give him a chance mm -hmm. to just run, and I know he steps out of bounds. Would have been a touchdown. Um, but Aaron Rodgers is Aaron Rodgers. I mean, he's the X factor every, every single game they mm -hmm. play. Last week he didn't play well. 130 yards against New Orleans and two interceptions, yep. which is very unlike him. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd be shocked if we see that same version of Aaron Rodgers this week. He's, he's, he's the best. He's the MVP for a reason. And uh, it's definitely going to present a challenge, especially for this young uh, you know, defensive backfield now that Jeff Okuda's out. But that takes me back to the X factor of uh, Trey Flowers, you know, mm -hmm. getting make, making sure that that defensive line is is on tune and doing, doing their job and winning as many as of their one on one matchups as they can. Does Dan Campbell bring you in at all to the, the, those defensive rooms and be like, hey, this is Aaron Rodgers biggest weakness. Attack this. No, actually, when I was still playing, actually, I remember um, having those conversations with, uh, you know, Coach Caldwell and, mm -hmm. and Coach Patricia, and uh, the one thing with Aaron that I knew, and, and this is a completely different offense now under Matt Lafleur, right. but back when it was uh, Mike McCarthy's offense, he hated getting pressure. You know, if the left tackle ran his guy high, you know, he, he'd want both guys just to run around him so he could step up and really mm -hmm. uh, work the pocket, try to find an escape route. What the pressure that gets to him best is when somebody runs high, and on the other side you kind of come inside. So as soon as he sees the guy high, he steps up. And then you got another guy kind of coming in from the other side. So, and actually Detroit was able to cause, I think they caused two fumbles on sacks that season. And I was kind of just quietly watching, you know, taking some oh, credit. Oh, this is but, so nice. Uh, it all, you know, it just comes down to, it just comes down to winning your one-on-one -on -one matchup. And uh, this Green Bay offensive line is young. They've got a lot of guys playing different positions. Um, so if you're Detroit, I mean, if you're looking at Romeo Aquara and you're looking at Trey Flowers and... Uh, maybe this is the first time this year we get to see Julian Aquara, who flashed a lot in the preseason. Um, you've got to find a way just to get the pressure on him somehow up the middle. Don't let him get a chance to step up in the pocket, right? If he's going to scramble, at least make sure he goes backwards because then you got a chance to rally to the ball. You have a chance to pressure him. But if you let him get out side to side, that's where he makes a lot of the big plays. And there is your defensive scouting route, scouting report <laughs> for the Detroit Lions. <laughs> big game, Monday Night Football, Lions going to Green Bay. It's going to be a good one. We'll both be there. Say hi or don't if you see us, but it'll be it'll be a good one. We're pumped. Monday Night Football, Lions at Packers. It's right around the corner.